Welcome back to Hightail Spins. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about leaked Hightail information about the Avatar creation. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Hightail is going to be a great game that provides a lot of stuff. Recently, we have been talking about the way that Hightail developers have decided to design the game. For example, the plants or the biomes. We have also decided to talk about the mobs. In today's video, however, we will be talking about the characters and especially your character creation. Hightail provides players with the ability to customize their characters in many different ways. Whether you're exploring dungeons in adventure mode or taking part in a minigame, your avatar gives you the opportunity to express yourself. In this video, we will describe how character customization works and some of the options available when creating avatars. Character customization starts in the My Avatar menu. Here you set your avatar's skin color, eye color, hairstyle, and facial hair along with multi-layered clothing options. Feel free to mix and match and choose from multiple color options for everything from your character's hair to their clothing. Character customization is designed to work with Hytale's tool system. When you equip new pieces of armor or other gear, they're often stacked in a layer you've defined for your character. This gives you an extra degree of creative freedom, allowing you to mix and match clothes of different styles with different levels of armor that you'll create and collect in adventure mode. We'll have more to share about gear and equipment in a future video. Longer items such as cloaks have their movement animation. Hytale's adventure mode takes place in a magical fantasy world, and many of our customization options reflect that fact. You'll be able to create a wide variety of fantasy avatars, from youthful explorers to veterans, farmers, mages, and even artisans. At the same time, minigames allow players to express themselves in many different ways. We wanted character customization to reflect this with a variety of customization themes. In addition to fantasy options, you will be able to choose from stylish modern clothes and themed outfits. It's about giving players options, says artist Connor Stein Goodman. There are two sides, the fantasy side and the feeling of being yourself, having fun with friends and wearing everyday clothes. There is also cosplay and role-playing. We want people to be able to build a lounge or a spaceship and have a set of costumes they can choose from. Hytale's art team follows a set of guidelines that help ensure that customization items look good together, even when drawn from different themes. We use specific colors, explains Stein. For fantasy, we chose darker, more saturated tones. When we go to a more modern track, they are lighter and brighter. When we do something more fun or cute, they use more pastel colors. Server operators will be able to override the appearance of characters while playing on their server, allowing creators to define the appearance of their minigames. For example, the operator of a western-themed server might want everyone to wear period-appropriate attire. Inspiration for customization options comes from many different sources. In adventure mode, the zones themselves have a huge impact on the types of clothing options players can offer. In the example listed earlier, you can see how a new custom for Zone 2, Sunbaked Desert, was designed and built. There's a research phase where you can figure out what type of the thing you want to do and sketch it out, says Stein. I think references like clothes in the desert, and then I see what looks fantastic enough to fit into the game. Everything has to be scaled to fit the model and work with the animations. Details inspired by Hytale's story are added to tie the new asset into the existing world. I realized the Ferens in Zone 2 were wearing shackles, says Stein. I thought someone in the area might be inspired by this, so I added gold bracelets that cover the wrists and ankles. Zone 2 also has cacti that are very bright and colorful. So we reflect that in the clothing, symbols are also important. There are a lot of symbols in the game, so we try to reflect that as well. Customizing your character goes further than just your appearance. Hightail avatars can show different facial expressions and perform emoticons. Some of these occur during normal play, such as clenching your teeth as you swing your sword, while others are manually triggered. That's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when we come with newer content. Thanks for watching. We're signing off now, and we'll be back with some amazing content for you soon.